with kitten internet? Meow. Yeah. It's been a while. 16 days, you said? 16 days. Not that I've uploaded anything beyond the third episode. <laughs> yeah. And in the meantime, we've both been playing our own characters. Yeah. So, level 9. Level 9. Yeah, his character is level 24 and mine is 36, I think? Yes. So I am one level off of getting the achievement for reaching level 25. Um, I have not progressed plot at all with my other character, by the way, so all plot-related things will still be genuine and I have not experienced. Main plot, that is. I've been generally avoiding doing things yeah. in the UC. But I at least know how to play the game better now. Yeah, we understand how things work a lot better. We have two skill points. How? By not putting things into anything. Yeah. Let's just do that now. Yep. Uh, I don't think boost pack training level 2 is as needed. This is going to be a more science-y character, so I am going to be putting points into science. But... Should we put points into piloting? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we need piloting. Because it would be nice to actually use a basic feature of the game. Yeah. Uh, as I've discovered since then, there are multiple basic features of the game locked behind skills for it. No good reason. And ship thrusters is one of them. Um, we've already had boost pack training being one of them. And then there's another one over... In physical? Yeah, in physical. Um, gymnastics. By unlocking this, you gain the ability to slide. It's not in the game otherwise. Anyway. Um, late missions. So we are currently on Late Bloomer. That's in Aquila City. Yes, that's in Aquila City. So first, before we do that, we're actually going to impress main love plot. I know, it's a dirty word. But darn it, I would actually like to see anything beyond this point. <laughs> yeah, and I've already done several constellation quests, so... Oh, uh, I need to exit out of Power Toys. There we go. Now I can you, actually... You can just uh, go into survey mode. And hover over the lodge. Oh, and... If I'm not overburdened. Oh, and... apparently I'm not overburdened. I can tell this isn't one of my more recent character saves. Because I am constantly overburdened with the other character. Yeah, it's a lot easier to travel around New Atlantis if you know that you can fast travel from survey. I'm yes. listening. Ready to head out there? Or did you still need time on your own? Why are you giving me squinty eyes? All right, let's go get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught. I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Yet she still hates it when you steal things. Mm -hmm. Does she? Yes. Good. I haven't tried Let's stealing anything. With all Atlantis, but one member of Constellation hates it. It's Barrett. Yeah. Who kind of likes it? It's but one of. Do you have a magazine? Yes. Permanently reduced fall damage by five percent. Oh, I haven't even. I didn't even realize this was an area. I never went out here. Hmm. Pretty. Yeah. Plants from various locales. A sandwich that no one has taken a bite out of yet. Oh. It's a 
full sandwich. Delicious salami and cheese sandwich made fresh. So it will stay out there forever. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. If you have any gear you want me to haul. Do you have anything? Yeah, you have ammo. I think she might need that ammo. Nope. You don't, and none of them need ammo for the base weapon that they have. They need ammo for any other weapon that they have. So okay. if I give them a weapon, they will need ammo for it. Okay. Um, you will also notice that the UI looks a little bit different. I have a few mods installed now. None of them affect gameplay. All of the mods are effectively UI-like mods. So this is Star UI, which is the uh, Starfield version of Sky UI or... There's a Fallout 4 one as well, isn't there? I don't know. I'm not using a different UI for Fallout mm. 4. Um... Maybe you should have Sir Livingston's pistol, or I can just give you a Grendel. I don't even remember what weapon scoop we're using on this character. Uh, Coachman. Yeah. Shotgun is the answer to everything. What's the Titanium Side Star? Titanium Side Star. The legendary. It's a kind of crappy pistol. Mm. It's fast, but. And it's light. It is super light. It is worth a lot given its weight. Uh, yeah, bite the on your head <laughs> it's off the charts. Yeah, the watching. weight is 30 grams. Come on. <laughs> Ow. It's made of titanium. Don't ask. Just don't ask. Titanium isn't light. Yes, it is. Titanium's very light compared to other metals. Oh, okay. I thought it was just stronger. Nope, it is also lightweight. It's just very hard to make mm. or forge things with. Anyway, um, you're getting a Grendel, I think. And we have three equinoxes. Yeah. We should probably hit out the shop. Hit up a shop on the way out. You need one ammo. One. There we go. How did goodbye? You know there was an artifact of on Bactera. Oh yeah, it's that's a good question. From here, you can thank Barrett for that. If he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. I mean, that makes sense since Barrett had an experience when he touched the first artifact. Mm -hmm. That almost certainly changed him to the point of, oh, I need to find more of these. Please, let me trip some more That's without having to use Aurora. So, let us head out to Mast. My nose is so itchy. So, you will also notice that there are lines that point toward the um, quest location. The problem is it doesn't work very well. I don't know if you've noticed that. That's right, uh, Mass District. Um, the game gets a little confused about its lines for where to go. Often, yes. Very often. At least they're not making us take a perk to do this, like in Fallout 4. Yes. I mean, Star Myth was a spell, but easily acquired, and anyone mm -hmm. can cast it. Oh, that's the way down. Yep. Yeah, hmm? It goes up as well. Oh, I thought it was only down. Doesn't it? No, it's only to the well. Oh. Sorry, then? Yeah. That's what I thought. Wasn't there an elevator? There is another elevator. But the way to the well is on its own. Hmm. Huh. That's why you didn't see the quest marker on it. Hmm. Because we need to go directly above yep. this place. Where was that? Was it this side? I know. Uh, yep. This is the elevator. If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. There we go. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully, Constellation's newest member. I'm a little closer. closer. 
Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Citizenship. Or service guarantees citizenship. Uh maybe later. Maybe later. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which animal did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Mm. Matches that description Sarah gave me. What's wrong with the soul system? Are you kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Is Mars actually that bad? Oh, he goes way back. I think it was recruit number 81 or something. For reference, I have not been to the soul system on any character. Because I decided that was a part of mainline plot, so I was avoiding it. I've surveyed, like, half of the soul system by now. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk to him. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Can you tell me about yeah. Sedona? Bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. What? Did they say where he found the ornament? You'll have to ask him. But Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Asperin? It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. All right. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Get your ass to Mars. Not Any personal all. questions? Uh, what do you do for fun? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. This is that being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Hmm. Uh, do you have any religious beliefs? My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I was raised Barun. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are, is your area of expertise, mm, anyway? Apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Yes. Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping, been quite useful in the past and as far as planetary exploration my area of expertise is botany 
So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> what about things that would put us in that grave? I hope you got something out of that. Of course you would let us do that. Okay. Alright. That's the net. Yes. Because that's the quicker way to get where we're going. Yep. All right, Sarah, you're my Vasco for this adventure. Let's go. You know, I can just. Yeah, I just realized it as I was doing It's like, wait, why am I doing this? Although this will let me stop by the area in front of the ship. Or... I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft. And yet I still get sick on the nap. Ready the door of the kiosk? Yep. I am definitely oh, using power that boost. That I, I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one. Ah. Oh, so the, she has... About the sculpture. Yeah, she has various things that she says about areas in... Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting, okay. Hat. We have these jetpacks for a reason. Yes, I'm using it. Hush. Yeah, but she meant they're not just for flying, they're for breaking your fall as well. Eh. That's what sleep is for. Alright, do you actually have money left? Yes, not much, but some. Rescue axe, it's fine. Good enough. Great heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc. I wonder if. Hey, Vasco. Captain, greetings. If our ship can get heat leeches, or if that's just not a mechanic. I'm betting it's not a mechanic. I haven't seen it yet, at least. That's right, we're on the base ship. I've forgotten. What's in our cargo hold? Good question. Um, bunch of crap. Some succulents. Lots of various resources. And have we started any outposts? Yes, we've done one tiny outpost, if I remember right. But it's not very complete. Um, I mean, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I was thinking I might pause it and dump everything off the lodge, but... That's a good idea. Get up. Yeah. We'll post recording, grab yep. stuff, and put it in our safe in the room in the lodge, oh. because that has unlimited storage. Yep. Fun fact! It's one of, like, three containers in the game with unlimited storage. Anyway, we'll be right back. Once I pause. Pausing! And we're back! Um, I am significantly lighter now, as is the ship. The, yeah, what's the ship's carrying capacity? Yeah, it still has 130 left. And let's... You need to put the ship box back in. Oh, yes, thank cargo you. Hold. Yes, we I accidentally grabbed it. It's because we're not used to ship parts being in the aid category. Yes. It's... It shouldn't be aid, but it doesn't make sense anywhere else, so like, I understand. It's aid for the ship, but... Yes. Anyway, let's take off. Hopefully we can get a new ship sometime soon. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Frontier is a nice ship and all, but... It's small. Yeah. Although many of the other ships have had, had, had smaller cargo capacity. Yes. Although like, both of our current ships have much larger. Yeah, but we've modeled our ships. Yeah. Going to Seoul. It's in fact 4.32 light years away.
with this bit, reactor bit suit. More That's where I'm going. Because that's the only way to go. There's like lots of things here. Yep, scan the planet. I have scanned the planet. Yep. Ah, so they've done terraforming? No. No. Lead. Yeah, it's a stupid lead planet. Well, did they have. No. Is lead the only solid resource in this? I don't know. That's what I mean by stupid lead plant, where every mineral deposit on the surface yeah. is lead. But it has other resources. Mars, eh? You always take me to the nicest place. Oh boy, Sandstorm again. How can I be of service, Captain? Oh yeah, we forgot to check if Blastoise holding any. Oh yeah. Hello, Captain. How may I be of service? Probably. Yep. Vasco's full. Yeah. Whoops. Oh well. Goodbye for now. Gonna grab that. But yeah. I thought about it at one point, but then I forgot again. Let's get out of Mars. Leeches. It's a problem everywhere. Building Except for you. Completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Well, it was either that or build a giant dome. Yep. I mean, if my games of Terraforming Mars have anything to say about it, dome is the way. Always dome. Forever dome. Welcome to Cydonia, humanity's stepping stone to the stars. That should not say 0% O2 while you're in Cydonia. Do your part to keep Cydonia and graffiti free. Sorry. What's your 270 point? hours without incident. A new record, I think. Traveled. Yep. The number is usually lower in my when I've been here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've slept a bunch? Because, by the way, if you shoot somebody, that resets to zero. I saw a short video clip of it. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist today. Hey, hey, I get it. There's nothing I can do. Just watch it's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate if you want. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Come on, forget you know, it. I believe it we've got the best mining Maybe team to ever. To the right the bar is there. Oh. Yeah, you're oh, it's the broken spear. I know you were counting on that Sidonia hazard pay. Mission board, bounty clearance. I just can't let that move from the old rate. Ah. So many people here. Mm -hmm. So for reference, I'm trying to avoid being in crowds of people for their sake. Alright. They're going to go boom, aren't they? Mm -hmm.
Okay. That just happens once in a while. I mean, I worked at a place with routine detonations, so. Oh, payload specialist. Excuse me. Get a lot of new faces passing through. By the way, the random NPCs, the ones that don't have names, are truly random. If you reload the game, they'll have a different set. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple or keep to yourself, and everyone will be happy. It's good to drink around here. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. Yeah, it's definitely my not like the, the only one. booze yeah. worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. Alcohol tastes disgusting. Of course it does. Uh, how about a Vanguard named Moira? Ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. I mean, I'm not allowed to leave a brave soldier behind. Help us find him. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. You well, never get used to losing nothing people. More no, you don't. Just help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but. But I'm not all that money. I've got problems. What do you say? Your commanding can speak on your behalf. What they will say next is written by name. Yep, Sarah Morgan. Skip uh -huh. to the part where you admit your line. Interesting. So, my other character is an introvert, so I don't have any followers. I did that intentionally because I didn't want to find out more about a follower's mm -hmm. information or anything like that. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. No, oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. I meant to save first. <laughs> Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You didn't guilt trip me. So, what I've re more recently found out about how the persuasion system works is that these colors mean nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> What actually means something is what is more likely to persuade the person that you're talking to. So, for instance, he's been talking about he would like to help out a fellow Martian. Mm -hmm. So, most likely, the types of things that work are building off of that. So, looking at this, this wouldn't work. One of these two, I think, would probably be the better option. I'm gonna go with this one. I want him back. Yep. I do. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus. Oh. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire <laughs> patrol route. It's just a planet. I forgot what I got. How big could it be? <laughs> we'll make like five or six square kilometers but yeah the persuasion system in their little mini tooltip told you that the colors are the chances of it being more or less likely that's not true hmm. to Venus we get a tour of the soul system it, it should do a couple of things while we're here. I want to follow up with this first. Okay. Yeah, we, we can Yeah, go we're back still in the soul system. It's not and Yeah, fast travel works anywhere. The only time you have to worry about fast travel is if you're carrying contraband. Sidonia can have depressing. Yeah, I suppose with this character. 
I don't have to worry about that with my other character. So, for reference, um, you might have seen how fast my oxygen was depleting with this character when I was over encumbered by... No, that's right. That was in between the part that we didn't record. Um, here, easy way to tell the difference. You notice how fast my oxygen is depleting when I'm running? That's about as how fast as my other character that's over encumbered by about 600 kilos runs. <laughs> it's because my other character has alien DNA. Among many, many other things that add to reduced amount of oxygen spend whenever you're overloaded. It is hilarious. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. One of the mods that I'm thinking about installing um, increases the run speed of your companions. Just so they keep up with you. Alright. We've gotten our ass to Mars. Let's get our ass to Venus. Are there any cities? Hovering around Venus? I don't remember the Venus part of this quest very well. Mm. Star Rambler. Gal Bank. Drum Rider. Edlericano. Kultker. Greater Lat Atlas. Not Atlantis. A lot of vehicles here. What I was trying to do, I just forgot that I had to go into Scan View. A cursed view. I see red dots. Hello, what do we have here? See okay. that cluster of ships? The room zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you now. guess what happens if they spot us. Uh, why are they near Venus? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. See the no, ship anyway? No other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a in Houston that satellite right? beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Ooh. We can distract them with the Litany of the Faith. I'll give you a passage to recite. You worship the Great Serpent. Well, lucky for us. <laughs> I just right. grew up with it. My parents got better. They're no longer hostile. Yeah. Oh, I kind of want to blow them up. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we can win that fight. Really? Well, the way this goes, if. Oh. Pretending to be a religious zealot who believes in a dreadful cosmic entity. Perfectly normal. Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion <laughs> that we may walk in Jinan Varun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. They speak the litanies of the promised. Let them pass. Be grateful that we observed Janan Varun's commune with the great serpent today. Such a bold recitation will not save you from judgment next time. Yeah, the way that this goes if you don't have the, the background mm -hmm. of, that this character has is that you power down all of ship system except one or two dots and engines. 
and sneak in. Oh, I didn't realize you could sneak on a ship. Yeah, a ship that's powered down down is supposedly much harder to detect. Huh. There's water on Venus. There's water everywhere. That's not supposed to be water on Venus. I don't know. And there is a whole lot of nothing on Venus. Uh huh. I would have thought we would have tried to at least colonize the skies. It's an extreme environment. Yes, but like there is legitimately theories that say that it would be easier to colonize Venus than Mars. Hmm. Because um. If you have a station, I'm just curious about the power of the zealots. Um, if you have a station that's floating in Venus, which would not be that hard to do. Yeah, they're just sitting there, not doing anything. Nope, I'm not getting the option. Mm. I saved right before. Yep. By the way, I am very slightly better at space combat now. That's not the one I was aiming at. Oh, wow. Um, I'm not damaging. Well, you haven't fully powered a laser. Oh, but yeah, that's true. You kind of need the power for... Yes! I told you I'm actually good at space combat now! You are more than an I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm about to lose Hull. Yeah, this is not a great position for me. Yeah, I'm about to die. I'm aware. No, I'm going to die. It doesn't matter how much you repair. Uh, uh, sorry. Please don't. It was going to be too late. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably take on two of them. Three is a bit much. I could take on two of them. With this character right now? Maybe. I, I'm not sure. At least you have the first piloting perk. Mm -hmm. Without it, you can't even uh, boost to break the missile lock. Yes. No, you can boost without first piloting perk. You can? Yes, you can't thrusters, oh. which is something else. Okay. There's so many different terms, and I don't yeah, know what I they know. all are. Like the, the, boost, pa the uh, bo boost pack assault perk, which mentions something called mantling and i have no idea what yeah that i have is. no idea what mantling is but um oh i'm in tutorial mode right now. there it is nova galactic star yard still orbiting earth's moon this is where the first interstellar ships were made people still use their modules even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever I mean, I already know the answer yeah. to this, but what happened to Earth anyway? Why did we leave it? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. So they also tell you that in loading screens, which is how I know about it. 
Yeah, what about finding the artifact? I want to walk on the moon! If you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. Okay. Um. So, thrusters are. Is it. Pause it. Why am I forgetting how thrusters work? It. I've forgotten. So there's basically a button that you press. I'm just gonna dock. Um, there's a button that you hold down in order to activate thrusters. Hmm. And I have yet to figure out a use for them other than dodging missiles. But I'm gonna walk on the moon later. It might not be Jemison. But this ship is starting to feel like home. This one? This one. Good day, Captain. Steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Exactly. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this will be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Yep. They're even less organized than the rest of the fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. We've also gotten a lot better at figuring out which things are worth picking up. Yes, you will notice that I am picking up far fewer things now. Although I still pick up some silly things from time to time, like plants. You will also notice that I use scanning quite a bit more often, and so it will highlight things in darkness. Because, honestly, this flashlight is useless. 99% of the time, it's just garbage. I've been thinking of installing a mod that gives you a better flashlight. Yep, although I... it's not that much better from what I've seen. Those coffee glasses? Those are shot glasses. Oh. Like I think I would pick up the levitating desk or the cloak. Yeah, but I am not. Advanced lock. Well, it's time for you all to see your first advanced lock. The difference between a novice lock and advanced lock is that there are extra digit picks that do not apply anywhere. So you can be tricked into the wrong thing. This is interior only. And specifically that. Okay, so that's the interior. Everything else is exterior. And I'm also way better at lock picking than I used to be. Yeah, I still struggle a little with monster locks, but I took the the top perk of lock picking, which is spending an extra digi pick to eliminate the picks mm -hmm. that aren't used. Whereas I haven't done that, mostly because I haven't picked enough locks yet, but also because I don't need it. I'm actually fairly good with master locks at this point. Always take ammo. Ammo is weightless. Did not mean to take that boulder. At least that's very light. Yes. So? Um, ammo is weightless. So there's no reason to not take ammo. Just like Digipix and Medpacks are the other two weightless things. Um, the higher level versions of Medpacks are not weightless though. But of course, there's probably going to be a survival mode later, and then ammo and yeah, packs probably. will have a weight. I forgot to rest on the ship. I'm going back. Yeah. One moment. There's nobody in this section anyway, so. 
Greetings, Captain. Just like in Skyrim and Fallout 4 and Morrowind and Daggerfall and everywhere else, in a Bethesda game you only need to sleep an hour. Well, no, in Daggerfall you well. sleep until rested and that can take well, several true. hours. Yes. But it's ni nice in Daggerfall how you sleep until rested, so you only sleep yes. as long as you need. Well, what game was I playing recently that has something similar? And in survival mode, and then you need to sleep for eight hours to be fully healed. What was that? Hmm? What? There was a bright flash and a little bit of shaking. Not sure. They are fighting. That's what that is. I'm assuming that's our friend. So I'm going to just ignore that for a while. Are these some of the toilets? That I, or, no. So some toilet paper dispensers, you can flip the toilet paper around. Ooh. But it's only at the start of the game. They forgot to do it in every other bathroom in the game. I will have to pay attention to that. Yeah, I think next... it's, like, only the starting moon. Victera? Yeah. I think it might be just that. I'll have a look at the next time I'm there. Yeah. Also, one thing that you will notice is that I'm significantly less concerned about being overburdened. Because I'm used to managing at this point. Uh, Logger is actually worth a decent amount. Um, I'm not sure if we need to take astronomy perks to be able to do the research, but there is research that requires a lot of fear. Okay. It's science. Of course it is. That's just what they want you to think. One thing that I don't like is the sheer number of cafeterias in this game, because they have a large number of objects that are not necessarily useful. useful. And it's really hard for me to pick out the things that are actually useful when that happens. Not that food is terribly useful, No, but... no it's not. Baguette. Chardonnay. Those will be so much. Well, so that you can't open doors yeah, in survey mode. That is so dumb. And you can't disarm mines in survey mode. That one hasn't come up for me yet. A toast. Except toast. Ah, there's both ecliptic and spacers here. Cool. Yes. Target rich environment then. Also, I've learned how to do that. And that, my friend, is how we do things. That was an ecliptic mercenary. What are they doing here? Scavenging a star yard is a bit low end for them. Do they have anything valuable? Um, the part that I was going to point out is that the game actually has a cover system. They just never tell you about it. What it is is that you will notice that my gun is facing forward until I reach a wall and then the gun turns. When that happens, that means when you use right click to zoom in or look down your sights, you're actually using the cover system. 
game doesn't explain it anywhere. Uh, I swear they forgot to make some tutorials and then tried to cover it up by making other tutorials absurdly long. Not grabbing the police? Ah. Uh, I have enough food. Grab the bread, though. So both Ecliptic and Spacers are here. So Ecliptic must be here for a reason. I'm going to guess they're after the artifact. Secure access doors must be opened by some other means. Sometimes it's a switch, sometimes it's effectively the equivalent of bolt cutters on the other side. Also, you will notice that when you're looting bodies, you don't actually end up ripping them naked. That is because Bethesda intentionally made it where you cannot remove their clothing. However, there is a mod that re-enables that, and then you can strip them almost naked. I'm Everything's sure. wearing modesty clothing here. Yeah, I'm sure if you had a nudity mod, you yes. would strip them naked. But currently, that is not a feasible option. I think you need the creation kit for that. I miss an exit. Be over here. Yeah. Not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. I can even see. Slightly oh. better at this game. Just slightly. <laughs> Although I miss my older hunting rifle for my other character. I wonder if I can find one here. This is, you know. On Luna, it would make sense that there would be old Earth equipment here, right? <laughs> no, because this place has been scavenged multiple times over. Disassembler rescue axe. Ooh, a modified lawgiver. Ah, uh, bad people, bad jokes one. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? Varun. Varun who? Varun! Varun! Listen to that engine. An alien spider beast walks into a bar in Aquila City. Bartender asks, which poison? Why'd the Crimson Fleet pirate go to Enhanced Clinic? He wanted more booty. Knock knock. Who's there? Neon. Neon who? You put one knee on the floor to genuflect, two knees to eat kneel. Uh, genuflection is one knee on the ground, one knee, or one foot flat on the ground. Um, you're the one about the Freestar Ranger who couldn't get into the conference? Got his badge. <sighs> and then Crimson Cabin, which will be read later. Um, for reference, I am keeping them up long enough for people to pause to read them. Well, yeah, you just need one frame for that. You need one clear frame, because YouTube likes to make mm -hmm. frames a little muddy. Plus, later. And if you didn't know, you can go one frame forward or back with a uh, comma and punctuation mark yep. in YouTube. But only if you are using the YouTube desktop, like the website. If you are using something like Firefox's ability to pop out YouTube in another in its own window, it does not work. Okay, I didn't know that because I don't use that feature. I use it constantly. I saw that ecliptic. There's a Newton's cradle. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I've seen them all everywhere. I always wanted one. We are at an hour. Roughly. A little bit over, actually. Oh, no. That's actually my alarm for going to bed. Yeah.
Yeah, knitting its cradles are neat. Um, just going where, to where would I even buy one? Uh, in the U.S., you frequently buy them in either science museum gift shops or um, random geeky places. Hmm. Like Think Geek used to have them back when Think Geek existed. Oh, I should probably stop. Stop killing spacers. Nah. No, that's not gonna happen. Do I have the difficulty really low or something? Like, I'm shooting from the hip. I mean, seriously, it shouldn't be quite this easy for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm checking. Gameplay. Difficulty normal. What? This does not feel like normal. <laughs> Maybe it's because I keep going into places that I am nowhere near high enough. Or, yeah, like... Secret outpost. Ah, yes. This is where I found it. Whereas I found it at the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Crete base area. Mm. But anyway, this is probably where I'm going to stop. I just wanted to clear out this specific area before I continued. Or before I left off. Let's finish this up. Yeah, this is the only type of place that I would use a flashlight when it's pitch black. Because I'm likely, likely to be eaten by a crew. Canuck. Um, Your scopes don't do anything. Let's go ahead and rest because that's free healing. Ah, you are the soundest sleeper I've ever seen. That's a med pack. You're right. Okay. And damp. Or, or something. Yeah, that's damp. Okay, I am going to go ahead and save it here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet in whatever month this ends up getting released. It won't December. be September. I think it'll be released in October because I'm... November. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably November. Anyway, bye internet. Bye.